يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله واحسن هدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر امور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ثم اما بعد قال الله تعالى في كتابه الكريم فلا اقسم بالشفق والليل وما وسق والقمر اذا اتسق لا تركبن طبقا عن طبق الله اكبر يا عباد you will find that there is no such thing as stagnation inside of the creation everything will constantly be moving and changing and altering its state and within this movement ya ibad there is a tremendous lesson which we all can gain benefit from and it is a lesson that is overlooked by many and by most you will find most people have not benefited from the likes of this lesson but within the alteration of changing of states there is a tremendous benefit and a tremendous lesson and a tremendous admonition to those who believe Allah Ta'ala he says in his noble book fala uqsimu bishafaq so i swear Allah Ta'ala he says what translated means so i swear by the afterglow of the sunset wal layli wa ma wasaq and by the night time and that which is darkness is encompass wal qamari idha tasaq and by the moon when it is full allah ta'ala is swearing here what is the jawab what is the jawab al qasam what is that thing in which allah ta'ala is swearing by he's swearing by the afterglow of the sunset by the night time and what is darkness is covered and by the moon that is full what is allah ta'ala swearing by now but what is allah ta'ala swearing to the fact that what la taruka gunna tabaqan an tabaq that verily you shall move from state to state you shall move from state to state a poet in illustrating the realities of this he draws an example by way of the sun from one who contemplates and he looks at the sun where he says منع البقاء تقلب الشمس وطلوعها من حيث لا تمسي وطلوعها حمراء صافيه وغروبها صفراء كالورس اليوم اعلم ما يجيء به والمضى بالفصل قضائه امس he says that the alterations of the sun are an example that the lack of change has been prohibited meaning that the alterations of the sun it is an example that things will not stay the same he goes on and he says wa tulurha min haythu la tumsi and it comes up from a place where it does not set from it rises here and it sets there so just within that there is an example that it will not stay the same it rises in one place it sets in another place wa tulurha حمراء صافيه and when it rises its color is purely red وغروبها صفراء كالورس 
And when it sets, it is yellow like the worst flower. اليوم أعلم ما يجيو به He said, as far as today, then I know about what is happening. Meaning the present, I know about what is happening presently now. Why? Because I'm experiencing it. والمضى And likewise the past. بالفصل قضائه أمسي Because it happened yesterday. I know what's happening in the present, and I know what happened in the past because it happened yesterday. Which means, you understand from this, as far as tomorrow, then I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I have no knowledge of that. We take the example that the sun does not stay the same. It is in this part of the sky in the morning. It is in this part of the sky in the afternoon. It is in this part of the sky in the evening. It is this color in the morning, that color in the evening, so on and so forth. Mana al Nothing shall stay the same, ya ibad. This is the reality of this dunya. Either we will be increasing or we will be decreasing. Either we will be getting better or we will be getting worse. There is no third option. It's either better or it's worse. Increase or decrease. You do not have a third option. So now the question is, the question is which each and every one of us needs to ask ourselves. Which of these two states will we prefer for ourselves? Will it be increased or will it be decreased? Will it be increasing in Iman? Increasing in knowledge or will it be decreasing in Iman? Becoming more ignorant. Which of the two will you choose for yourself? Because I have no doubt in my mind that each and every individual who is hearing my voice, he has the ability to better himself. He has the ability to enrich himself. Now the question is whether or not you are going to take the necessary steps into bettering yourself. The necessary steps to enriching yourself. The necessary steps to increasing in Iman. Because as Allah Ta'ala informs us, that Iman it goes up and it goes down. Allah Ta'ala says, so that those who believe will be increased in Iman. And anything that goes up, then it also must come down. Anything that increases, then it also decreases. So Allah Ta'ala has established inside this ayah that Iman it rises. So likewise, Iman decreases. So now the question is, Ya Iman, which of these states do we prefer for ourselves? The increasement or the decreasement? As we know, as the Aqeedah of Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah is that Iman is of five things. It composes five things. Jumi'ah, bima sumi'ah, bi khamsa nunat. It has been collected or brought together in that which they call the five noons. Hayfu qal, when they say, الإيمان عمل بالأركان عمل بالأركان واعتقاد الجنان والقول باللسان يزيد بطاعة الرحمن وينقص بطاعة الشيطان. That iman it is actions on the limbs, a statement with the tongue, a belief with the heart. It increases when one is obedient to الرحمن. And it decreases when one is obedient to who? The shaitan. So it increases with ba'ah and it decreases with ma'asiyah. So now the choice is, which of these do you want for yourself? The increase or the decrease? The road has been made clear to you. With regards to the tafsir of this ayah, Abdullah ibn Abbas, he says with regards to Allah Ta'ala's statement, لا تركا بم طبقا عن طبق That you will go from state to state. He said it means, لا تركا بم حالا عن حالا he said it means that you will go from situation to situation. The Alama Ibn Taymin, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he says, وَهُوَ يَعْنِ أَنَّ تَغْيِيرُ فَيَشْمَلُ He said he means that this change, therefore it will encompass أَحْوَالِ الزَّمَانِ وَأَحْوَالِ الْمَكَانِ وَالْأَحْوَالِ الْأَبْدَانِ وَالْأَحْوَالِ الْقُلُوبِ he said encompasses the changing of the different states of time, the different states of places, the different states of the physical body, the different states of the heart. Let us look to time. Time alterates. A day comes and a day goes. A moment comes and it goes never to return. So we cannot stop time and live only within one moment forever. But it will constantly be changing. As the minutes go, as the seconds go, and the hours, and the days, and the months, and the years, time will change. So time will not stay the same. It will not stay stagnant, never to move. Likewise, with regards to the mechanics, the places, 
This morning, when I woke up, when Allah Hamd, I was in Sarahville. I went from Sarahville to Raritan. From Raritan back to Sarahville. From Sarahville to Ashbury Park. And after this, to MashaAllah. Likewise, I'm sure yourselves, you woke up in a place and now you're at another place. So this will not stop. The Shaykh, he says, also with regard to the abdan, the bodies. We are not in one situation. One time we were babies. Then we were toddlers. Then we were children. Then we were young adults. Then we were adults. Then we may become old for those who is blessed to live that long. So on and so forth until death comes to us. We used to be weak. Then we will be strong. After being strong, we return to being weak, so on and so forth. Likewise, with regards to the hearts, 